People's Democratic Party aspirants in the upcoming Ekiti state governorship elections cry foul and reject the party's ward congress. And Nigerians are feeling very sorry for choosing President Muhammadu Buhari as their leader in 2015, says Governor Samuel Otum of Benue State. This is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anakom. The People's Democratic Party PDP aspirants in the 2022 Ekiti state governorship election have rejected Saturday's ward congress to elect three ad hoc delegates in each of the 177 wards in the state. They said the process was hijacked. The aggrieved aspirants are a former governor of the state, Chief Shegoni, a deputy, a former deputy governor of the state, Professor Kolakbo Olushola, Senator Biodun, Olujimi, a former PDP national treasurer, uh, treasurer Wale Aribisala, and former senatorial aspirants Latif Adjijola. Now, they accused the Congress uh, committee appointed by the party's National Working Committee. There was a heavy deployment of security personnel in the area to prevent the breakdown of law and order. Well, joining us to discuss this is Olushala Eleka. He is an aspirant in the upcoming Ekiti governorship election. Thank you so much, Mr. Eleka, for joining us. Thank you. So walk us through exactly what happened over the weekend last week. Um, we saw a lot of agitations. Before we go to what Senator Olujimi said to the press, I want to want you to give us an eyewitness um, report of what you saw in your uh, ward or in your local government area. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, on the 5th of January 2022, we Mr. Leka, can you hear me? Well, I think we lost that connection. We're quickly going to take a, a look at what the Senator um, Olujimi had to say uh, at the end of that Congress um, last week, Saturday. And when we return, we will have our guest back on the line. Stay with us. This is a repeat performance of the Congress. And this was how it was exactly uh, on March 7, 2020. 2020. And that is what we have been fighting up until now. And it has repeated itself. Everything hijacked. No, everybody compromised. Uh, the people who came compromised. And it's like somebody said, a charade. And I begin to wonder what kind of exercise is this. And I think uh, the national should take a look at the activities of the people that were sent to come and conduct this uh, World Congress. It's quite unfortunate, but this is no Congress and it's not acceptable. Apologies, uh, we lost our guest, but he's back. Um, Mr. Leka, we just heard you say that this was no Congress, meaning that whatever activity or whatever process took place was null and void. And why do you think so? Yeah, thank you. The entire exercise was totally against the electoral guidelines issued by our party. Uh, the officers that were nominated from the national headquarters were expected to go to the various local governments they were assigned to. But unfortunately, a good number of them ended up writing names just in Nadeshiki, one or two in Nadeshiki. Why keeping our people waiting in the various world, in the various local government? We were fortunate in the current local government to get the officers to go with us. And uh, even at that, when we finished going around, when the officers finished going around the world, they refused to collate the results even at the local government party office in the current, and they insisted on going to adult to do that. Rather than going to call Total Hotel, which was the agreed venue, they decided to shift to NTS Inventor, owned by Governor Fayoshi. And that is quite unfortunate. And that is against, it's against the, 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 the guidelines we set by our party for this, uh, for the election of 300 delegates. 
So, so for me, so, so Mr. Leka, you're you're, you're saying that you're alleging that the people who the party at the national level sent had been one way or the other um, compromised by the former governor of Ekiti State, Governor Fayemi. Is this what you're alleging? No, no, Governor Fayemi. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Governor Fayoshi. Fay governor Fayoshi, I beg your pardon. Well, I did not see Governor Fayoshi typically, but they were diverted to his event hall center. Rather than collecting uh, the results at the hotel, okay, which was their new venue, you see all of them going to write results. Results that they never went for. Results that were not committed on the field. They were just compiled somewhere. They, were, they, they all went to the NCS event center to collect illegal, illegal names. And that is not acceptable. Now, how do you know that, that no these Congress. results were illegal? How many local governments or wards were you able to get information from saying that maybe these party officials did not show up? How many? I can categorically tell you that, apart from the local government, the reports from all the other local governments show that no Congress was held in the various wards in the other city local government. Interesting. Um, let's and, and, and let me also say this. Go ahead. Apart, apart, from, apart from the fact that the electoral officer did not visit the various wards in the various state government, the composition of the World Congress Electoral Committee was expected to include His Excellency Shifudom Emmanuel as the chairman. That, that position is a delegated authority. That is, he has been delegated by the National Working Committee of our party to oversee the Congress. But unfortunately, without approval from the National Working Committee, he also delegated somebody else again, which is against the guidelines. And that alone is enough to nullify the entire Congress. So that is a very important point that should be noted. So what is the case? What is the case now? Because we're seeing we've seen protests um, back to back. A group of people are asking that that particular um, Congress be cancelled because um, it was botched, according to them. Um, what is the national saying? Have you spoken to, have your grievances been ad addressed by the national uh, on this issue? But before you answer that, um, in that video clip that we just played, Senator Lujimi was making reference to something that has happened before. In fact, she said that this has happened before and it's happening again and that they're standing and all the people that were with her are standing against it. What did she mean by um, this happening again? Well, uh, I wouldn't want to go to that because that was that, that happened in March 2020, right? Uh, I believe we are currently addressing the issue of the three adult delegate congress uh, that was that uh, was assumed to have been held on the 15th of January. I want to say this, that we have lodged our complaints at their feet and, uh, and and I believe the party will be fair and do justice to this matter. Mm. Now, I, I want to talk about the PDP here. The PDP is the major opposition um, to the sitting party, the ruling party, the All Progressive Congress. Uh, and if the PDP is saying that its hopes is to be able to rescue the people of Nigeria, rebuild the country. Uh, I'm wondering, is this the way to go? What is, how do you get internal democracy or how do you get democracy for Nigeria if your internal democracy allegedly is botched? Let, 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 let me tell you this. The current uh, leadership of the Democratic Party is made up of men and women of integrity. And I want to say this categorically that EDP is very much out of this time and to rescue the nation from this hands of this uh, two less uh, all progressive Congress party that has impoverished this entire people of this country. Uh, however, those who are sent, who are expected to follow the rules and regulations of the period of delegates, by the leadership of the National Working Committee, 
compromise heavily. And you won't be surprised that the two people, the two most prominent people, were members of the former NWC that have been heavily discredited. So, and I believe the, the, the new leadership we, we, we take this, we take a look at this and do the meeting. The current chairman of the People's, People's Democratic Party is a, is a man of integrity. He is our leader. He has listened. He has. No wonder they gave us a lot of attention at the people panel. And we have been very much assured that all the wrongs should be corrected. But where is this it, integrity that, that you're making reference to? You're saying, I mean, of course, you will have to sing the praises of your political party. But if you're talking about the new National Working Committee, the leadership of the party, you're talking about Mr. Ayu and, and all the people that work with him, why is that integrity not reflected in something as little as a kitty state? It's just one state having its Congress. And then there are people who are delegated by the party who should also be re re exemplary in showing that same integrity you're making reference to. But we're unable to see that in a mini Congress that was held in a state. Where is the integrity that you're speaking of? No, 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 let me, if I can hear you clearly, right? Let me, let me tell you this, that nine of the electoral officers that were sent did not compromise. They wrote a separate report rejecting uh, the, 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 the report of, of, of the compromised uh, officers. And these were also presented to the AP panel. That shows that uh, it's it just like in the Bible when you have 20 disciples that will always be a Judas. So we want to assure you that the few Judas in the midst of EDC we have will not act that way this afternoon because it's a new leadership that is on a mission to rescue the nation. So we are glad that even despite the heavy compromise, we still have a very few excellent minds that refuse to cooperate with them. And that is why we are, we, we are getting the real fact. And we were very sure that the, uh, the leadership of the party will do what is right because they are asked to do what is right. And I believe in them. So I, I'd like to go to something that Mr. Kola Lobodion said, um, appealing to the aspirants, you included, uh, that, have, that might have any complaints to wait for the appeal committee. He said, and I quote, um, as far as we're concerned, we have done the first leg of our responsibility. The second leg is to collate the results um, and no results have been submitted to us at the moment, he says. People are still conducting congresses. He said, if there are complaints arising from the conduct of the Congress, the aspirants themselves will have to wait for the appeal committee, which will come after the committee to file their petitions. But your elections are coming up in June. So how long do you wait for that committee to be able to address your petitions? I, I, I can't hear you, you clearly, please. Well, I'll, I'll try again. If you can hear me now, can you hear me? Okay, better now. Mr. Kola Logbodion is appealing to all of the aspirants in Ekiti who have had complaints and, of course, reservations about how the conduct of that Congress went. He's saying that you will all have to wait until the appeal committee, uh, which will uh, come after the committee and their petitions. And I'm asking, your elections are coming up sometime in June. How long will you have to wait for this petitions committee to... Um, address all of your um, problems and your questions? Yeah, you see, we, we don't have to wait for long. Number one, a few committee met yesterday. We were invited and we presented our petition to them and we were well attended to. And we believe in the matter of day or tomorrow, they will be able to submit their report for the consideration of the National Working Committee. Well, let me tell you this. Should be ashamed of himself, should be ashamed of his attitude. I begin to wonder what, what, what is, who are the people that is affiliated? Is it the same set of people that they refuse to listen to when we made, when we lost complaints right at the stakeholders meeting? It's quite unfortunate. But I'm not surprised because they belong to, it belongs to the discredited uh, NWC that was shown the way out. It's quite unfortunate. Okay. So please, I'll call a lot of people in his own opinion, please. 
you have not done well. You can, you cannot, you cannot say you have done well in this, in this, in this assignment. The, the, the national leadership reposes trust and confidence in me, but to tell them, I'm sorry, but I mean, don't want to say anything concerning the color of the union, please. Okay. Well, Shola Eleka is one of the governorship aspirants in the upcoming Ekiti governorship elections. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We appreciate your thoughts. Thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. When we return, we discuss Governor Autumn of Benue State and the former head of state, Abdul Salami Abubakar, as they speak about Bahari's Nigeria. Stay with us.